you can only solve this using the lambda w function or if you plot the graph so you cannot solve it using your knowledge of algebra mm -mm, you can't so let's go ahead and use the lambda w function to solve this but don't worry i'm going to explain this in details the lambda w function is in this form if you plug in something in this form say x to the power of x okay into the w lambda function you are going to get x back so this simply means that if you plug in this expression 3e e to the power of 3 you are going to get 3 back all right so to use this function to solve this equation all we are going to try to do is to manipulate this equation to be in this form okay and the easiest way to do that is first of all leave the one that has exponents leave it alone okay then transfer this to the other side of the equation so if we do that we have 3 to the power of x is equal to 30 minus x okay all right then let's divide both sides of this equation by 3 to the power of x. So divided by 3 to the power of x is equal to what? Sorry. This side is also divided by 3 to the power of x. So if we solve this, we have 1 is equal to 30 minus 3. Okay. And this is 1 over 3 to the power of x. is same thing as what? 3 to the power of minus x. Since... 1 over x is equal to x to the power of minus 1. Okay? Alright. Now, let's continue. Now, when you look at this, you notice that this is starting to look like it's actually, we're actually forming something. This, what we have here, can be the same with what we have here. If we add 30 to this side, right? If we add 30 to this exponent, then we're going to have the same thing here and as our power right so but you just you can't just come and add 30 here you cannot do that because whatever you do to this side you have to do it to this side now to add 30 to this side simply means this 3 to the power of minus x plus 30 okay is same thing as 3 to the power of minus x multiplied by 3 to the power of 30 right yes according to the law of exponents that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n okay so this simply means that we have multiplied this side of the equation by 3 to the power of 30 so definitely we are going to multiply this side by 3 to the power of 30 as well right so let's go ahead and do that so we are going to multiply both sides of this equation by 3 to the power of 30. So we have 3 to the power of 30 multiplied by 1 is equal to what? 30 minus x. 3 to the power of minus x multiplied by 3 to the power of 30. Okay? So let's bring this to this side. So we now have 30 minus x. Okay? Then 3 raised to the power of minus x plus 30. Or will I say 30 plus x? Okay. 30 minus x. Sorry. 30 minus x. 30 minus x. Okay. Is equal to 3 to the power of 30. Mm. Right. We are getting there. Yes. We have the same thing here and here. But in... The, the ideal expression, you are supposed to have something like this, okay? So you have E here and not any number. So how do we introduce E here? That is actually very simple because E to the power of ln of 3, we give you 3, okay? So the only thing we need to do is to replace this 3 with this, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So we can now rewrite this as what? 30 minus x um e ln of 3 bracket 30 minus x is equal to 30 3 to the power of 30 okay perfect but notice that we have ln of 3 multiplying this but this one we don't have any ln of 3 multiplying so they are not the same and they must be the same for us to plug them into the w into the lambda w function 
So what do we do? The only option we have here is to multiply both sides of this equation by ln of 3. Okay? So that is exactly what we are going to do now. So we'll have 30 minus x ln 3. Okay? E raised to the power of what? 30 minus x ln 3. Okay? Alright. Is equal to 3 to the power of 30 ln 3. Okay, now perfect. We have what we wanted, so we are going to plug this into the W into the lambda W function. So let's do that. The W of what 30 minus x ln 3 ln 3. Okay, e to the power of 30 minus x ln 3. Okay is equal to what the w of what 3 to the power of 30 multiplied by ln 3. all right now we know what we are going to get here we are going to get 30 minus x ln 3 right so we have 30 minus x ln 3 okay is equal to the w of 33 to the power of 30 multiplied by ln 3. Okay, perfect. We have what we wanted here. Let's go ahead and manipulate this side as well so that we can get the W function of it. A simple, we can get a simple expression there. Okay, so we have 30 minus x ln 3 is equal to the W of what? Um, this can be written as 3 to the power of 3 ln 3 dot what? Multiply by 3 to the power of 27. Yeah, this and this can be written as 3 raised to the power of 3 plus 27, which will give us 3 to the power of 30 back. So we have 30 minus x ln 3 is equal to the W of what? 3 to the power of 3 is 27 ln 3. Now we can replace this 3 with what? Recall, e to the power of ln 3, okay, we have 27. All right. Whew. see what we are trying to do to see if we can get this and what the same thing if we can get here and here to be the same so we have 30 minus x ln 3 is equal to the w of 27 ln 3 okay 27 ln 3 e to the power of ln 27 3 right okay we can now write this as what 30 minus x ln 3 is equal to the w of what? 27 ln 3 e to the power of what? 27 ln 3. Perfect. Perfect. So, let's continue from here. Let's continue from here. Let's continue. Now, we have... 30 minus x ln 3, right? So we write 30 minus x ln 3, okay, is equal to, now we have the same thing here and here, so we can actually say that this side will give us 27 ln 3, is equal to 27 ln 3. All right, now this is multiplying. So we now divide both sides by what? ln3 and ln3. Now ln3, we cancel ln3 here and also do the same for this side. So we have 30 minus x, okay, is equal to 27. Okay, so to get the value of x, we have that minus x is what? 27 plus 30 we cross to become minus what? 30. All right, now minus x is equal to minus 3, right? Divided by minus 1, divided by minus 1. We will have that what? Our x is equal to 3. Now, if you check, if we plug in x equal to 3 into this equation, we'll have 3 to the power of 3, which is what? 27 plus 3 will give us what? 30. Thank you so much for watching. Have a bright day.